Hello YouTube, what is up? It has been a minute since I've made a vlog and me and Chris have just had a very chill summer and just kind of trying to lay low, I guess, and relax since we have been doing so much of everything. Yeah, we've been to Canada. We did go to Canada. Um, we went to Toronto, 4th of July weekend. I did bring my camera and didn't bring the charger so there were sadly no vlogs made on that trip but it was also kind of nice to have a trip where we just didn't focus on vlogging or anything we just had fun but now that we are in August it is officially been a year since I created my YouTube channel so happy one year to my channel I think I have like almost 340 subscribers now which is awesome if you subscribe to me or watch my videos thank you so much I really appreciate it I know that doesn't sound like a lot to most people but um yeah it's just really cool because I just make these videos for fun and to go back and watch our adventures um so again if you watch my videos thank you so much anyways today we are going to the state fair and if you have watched my videos from the beginning or have seen my last year um that vlog of the state fair that was my very first video so we're headed to the Kentucky State Fair today um, pretty awesome because we are season pass holders to Kentucky Kingdom and we have a gold pass which if you have gold or platinum I think you get into the fair this weekend for free um, I heard the fair was pretty crazy yesterday we saw lots of crazy traffic so hoping that doesn't happen today but either way we're gonna have fun so um, at the fair, I know we are definitely excited for the food. That's always one of the most exciting things, isn't it? Yeah, it is fun. And I'm already getting hungry, so I can tell you by the time we get there, that's probably one of the first things we're gonna do. Uh, we'll check out the inside, see all the vendors, all the animals, artwork, all that cool stuff. Uh, and of course, we gotta do some rides. That's also one of the coolest parts of the state fair. So just follow along with us today as we do all the things at the Kentucky State Fair. One eternity later. We have finally made it inside of here. The traffic was still kind of crazy. I don't think it was as crazy as yesterday. Today's a Sunday, so a little bit more chill. Um, so yeah, we're here. We got in for free, free parking with our Kentucky Kingdom season pass. So if you're local, you should definitely get it because it has so many perks. We were just talking about, I think we have a couple different theme park season passes and that one has easily given us like the most benefits, most perks, all that good stuff. But we are here, we are starving, and we're gonna go get some food. I did already see a sign that Mountain Dew has a special flavor for the fair, which I have never heard of that before. It was called um, Bluegrass Breeze, like I guess, I don't know. It looked, maybe it was something like a Baja Blast, but Bluegrass Breeze. We're gonna try it out today if I can find it um, and see what kind of cool foods we can find. We are back, just scouting out the food to see what we can find. Hopefully you can hear me because it's super loud right now. But, yep, we got all the classics here so far. That's my first time seeing Cubans and Rubens. Interesting. This is already bringing back memories because this is what we got last year and oh my god, it was so good. Weren't they? Well, you stole some mine, so you should know. They were so good. They kind of taste like those potato skins from Fridays. They do, yeah. I'm going to see if I can try and find something different, but this is definitely probably one of my favorite things I've had here. Just walking around, getting a feel of things. Um, looks like it's the same ride setup as last year, which I'm really happy about. This is probably one of the best ride setups we've had at the fair that I've seen, so we'll definitely be back here later. So we got our food. I decided to go pretty classic today. I got the loaded butterfly chips. These are always my favorite fair food. I just love these chips, cheese, bacon. And I also got me a lemonade shaker, and I haven't had one of those in forever. You can't get more classic with that when it comes to safe fair food. Well, look at Mr. Chris over here. He's got himself a euro, some rice. I'm always down for Greek food. <laughs> Eat fancy. There is a lot of really great options. There were a lot of local, local options too, which was awesome. We were about to go to one place and then the power went out so we couldn't order from there. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with how many different things you can get this year. 
One of the things that was very unique for this year was a barbecue Sunday, which I'm not gonna lie, sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but if you're into that sort of thing, they have this barbecue Sunday, which does not involve ice cream at all. It is like mashed potatoes, barbecue, corn maybe, I don't remember. Um, barbecue type foods kind of put into a Sunday. So if you wanna be adventurous, there you go. This is me after eating more than half of this and look how much is still left. I swear I can never finish anything here because they always give you so much food, but I guess I can't complain because you can't leave here hungry. I'll eat some of it. Luckily, I've got somebody who can help me finish, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's been waiting to eat my butterfly chips. Make sure I don't have any cheese on my face. It is hotter than a mother out here today. I had probably somewhere in the 90s. I remember it was this hot last year. I was an idiot last year, wore long sleeves and long jeans. This year, I definitely did not do that. So now that we're done eating, we're gonna head inside and get some good old AC and see all the there is to see in there. Inside now, just seeing all the goodies that they have in here. It's like we're starting off with some cakes and cookies and all that deliciousness. It already smells like butthole in here. One thing I've never seen here before are these beehives, which that's pretty cool. I guess they keep them here to make some honey and preserve them and whatnot. Is Queen Bee short for Beyonce? Boo. <laughs> He'll be here all weekend. Oh my god. These are absolutely crazy. <laughs> This is the part where I hold my breath, but it's worth it because look at these cute little cows. Lots of people going up and petting them, so I guess you're allowed to do that, but I think I'll just stand right here for now. <laughs> Lots more animals to see though. I don't know why I was surprised to see one cow that's actually black and white traditional cow. Because I feel like most of the cows here are either black or brown, so. Even while walking around, you can see the little cow hooves all over the place. And some mysterious liquids, so um, just in case we're not going to walk near that. Found a little baby cow. Got a little baby cow sign. Chris's favorite cobra chickens. They're ducks. Oh, are they? I can hear them quacking. Hi! Oh, I'm so happy and excited. I know. Okay, now we're in the big room of everything. I'm just gonna walk around and see what we can find in here. It's always lots of goodies. Maybe we'll actually see the baby chicks this time because we didn't last year. They didn't have them out, so maybe we'll get lucky since they didn't have any of the small animals. Just ran to Buddy the Bat over here. Just out, hanging out with some people. You know. so now we get to see all the fun cakes. I immediately saw this one and I just want to take it home with me. That's pretty it's got cool. Bibles in it and everything. I wish I were this talented. Like, there's an Elsa cake. Where? It's Elsa, your favorite princess. I know. Whatever. Look at this beautiful Elsa cake. I want that for my next birthday. I don't know how to make cake. Gee, thanks. I love you too. <laughs> okay, now this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Another one of my favorite parts, the Christmas trees. We've got, looks like a bourbon barrel Christmas tree. That's very creative. That's just Kentucky. Got this vacation-y one. Wizard of Oz, that's cool. Oh. Over the rainbow on the top. What else we got? We always got one of like every holiday. We've got Thanksgiving. Fourth of July, this cowboy tree. <laughs> oh, it has the little ducks in it. Oh. I love that. Oh, I've never seen this one. 
Valentine's Day tree. I was wondering if I was gonna see a Halloween one. This one's different. I think this one is just Nightmare Before Christmas, but this is so it's adorable. Still Halloween. I know, and I still want it. Okay, I think we actually get to see the chicks this year because we see the chick hatching exhibit where you see the cute little newborn babies. And there's a ton of people over there where the chicks are normally sliding on their little slides, so I think we're gonna see them. They almost look like full-grown baby chicks, but also look like grown-up chickens. I don't know. I've never yeah, seen them. Yeah, they are bigger than what I thought they would be after just hatching. Here they are. Oh my gosh, I get to sit here for hours and watch them. Go back up, go back up, go back up. They changed their mind. They didn't want to go down the slide. There they go. I don't know, I just got up. They have a ton of the small animals. All oh, just hanging out, being cute. I always love seeing the llamas. Look at that yawn. Too precious. Well, this is something different, or at least I haven't seen it before, but it got Chris's attention. have this giant candy area, cashews, fudge. I think Chris has found his spot for the rest of the day. Yeah, I think I'm all set. <laughs> Just take a nap here, I'll come pick you up later. One thing that I miss from in the inside are these hot Cheetos and cheese. She was amazing. You have to get these in here. Found the barbecue sundae. Very interesting looking picture. It's got pork or brisket, pork beans, mashed potatoes, and barbecue sauce. I do not like my food touching each other, so that will be not for me, but um, something different to try. Always love this setup because it's just your classic state fair. Rides, food, carnival games. We've got our wristbands. So now we're just walking around to see what to ride first. And we're back again. Our band.
Matterhorn again because this one is so fun and goes backwards too. <laughs> take it anymore so we're heading out I mean we have been here for 11 12 1 2 almost five hours and it went by really fast um, no we did find the Mountain Dew bluegrass breeze but their card machine was overheated so I couldn't get one because I only had cards so that was a bummer it's so freaking hot out we had to wrap it up and leave I mean like I said before we were here for about five hours so we were there for a long time. We did a lot. We just, we got to the point where we we're like, okay, we cannot take this heat anymore and we are done. But it was, besides the heat, it was a very fun day at the fair. We did pretty much all the things we normally do, like go see the animals and go see all the vendors inside and go ride some rides, try some fun foods. Did pretty much all that. Um, I will say we didn't get to try the Mountain Dew. I did almost buy it, but there, uh, machine was overheated so they couldn't take heart and I didn't have any cash um, and that was the second place we had went to where their machines were overheating so I do feel bad for them that they have to deal with that when it's their own business and stuff or whatever but it's fine it's just Mountain Dew maybe next year I did see some foods um, that were there that I never actually realized they had and I'm sad about missing it but they had a Barbie funnel cake. I think I am most upset about that. It was a funnel cake with some kind of pink icing on it. It looked so cute. Um, so didn't get to try that, but it is there, I guess. I saw it in the pamphlet. Um, what else? They had the barbecue sundae, which wasn't planning on trying that, but got to see where they served it. And yeah, just lots of things. Um, I think a lot of it is pretty much the same stuff they have every year, but some new things too to try. Now that I am recovering a bit from the heat, we are headed home. I'm gonna get just some water and recovered in sweat. And yeah, it's been a day. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you're coming to the state fair and got to try any of the things like the barbecue sundae or the Mountain Dew bluegrass breeze, let me know in the comments how it was. Um, but yeah, uh, there will be plenty more adventures coming soon. I have lots of uh, trips coming up with some vlogs planned, so stay tuned for that. See you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.